<clears throat> so, we all know what's coming in eFootball 2025. Today, we will discuss what we need to be added in eFootball 2026 mobile. If you don't know what's coming in eFootball 2025 yet, then check out this video. But first, a quick teaser. Ronaldo Epic, EAFC Market, higher chance of getting Epic players from Chance Deals, Rainbow Flex, Referees, more cards on Point Store. Let's dive deep into it. First of all, we have to talk about something. Messi or Ronaldo? Well, for me, it's Messi, obviously, but Ronaldo cards would not be that bad. Please, like, why can't eFootball just add Ronaldo cards? Like, there are a lot of concepts you can add for Ronaldo. Just look at this, so beautiful. Or this one, or this one, or like these three, like, Messi has this. Like, there you go, you can see Messi has this, but Ronaldo doesn't, and I feel like Ronaldo deserves this too. In PES 21, we used to have a lot of good Ronaldo iconic cards, but in eFootball 24, we don't. And even in 25, I don't think we are getting any of Ronaldo cards, so in 26, Konami, I want Ronaldo cards. And besides, eFootball has a lot of Ronaldo fans like Konami, come on man, we need a Ronaldo card, please. Also, shout out my Discord server for sending me all these card concepts. More on that later. Want to sell our account or maybe buy a new one with insane cards? Rewas Gang got you covered. Want to buy coins? Rewas Gang got you covered. Do you just want to chat about football and have a great time? Rewas Gang got you covered. There is so much you can do in the Rewas Gang, so come and join our community and get a chance to participate in giveaways and tournaments. Rewas Gang, the best eFootball Discord server. Also, another thing I want eFootball to add is the EAFC market. EAFC has such a great market. You can literally look up any player you want and you can find a lot of cards for your budget. There are tons of cards to choose from for any budget and it's just a great way to upgrade your team. And with that market, Konami could make a good use of GP because right now, GP is kinda useless. Like, what are you gonna do with it? Reset your player progression or buy some standard cards? Hell no. If that GP becomes more valuable, then people will play all these events more. Because they have to actually grind for that GP now. But right now, I don't think anyone grinds for GP. It's just useless. So, that's one. If they don't add the EAFC market that's easy for new players to progress in the game and get a good team, then they should increase the chances of getting epics from the chance deals. We've seen a lot of YouTubers spin the packs, wasting thousands of coins and getting nothing. Loki is just getting ridiculous. The chance of us getting an epic is literally close to none, especially if you're a free to play. At least in PES 21, it used to be somehow better. You could get epic cards with like 900 coins or like maximum 2000 coins, but right now, no. I barely got Bajo wasting like 4,500 coins or something. And also gonna be doing the same on my streams, wasting coins to spin pack players. But yeah, it's all chill. Yeah, kinda sad. Also with the new eFootball 26, I want them to add some new skills like eFootball on PC and a console has the rainbow flicks and tons of other skills. I want the same on mobile. Like, why not just add a rainbow flick? It's so cool. If they at least release a car with rainbow flick skill, like an epic car or something, a lot of people would probably buy that. eFootball 26, we're waiting. Also, one thing that console eFootball has that mobile doesn't is the referees. It's a simple thing. They added referee replays on mobile, but still no referee in actual game. It's just having a referee adds more realism to the game and also a lot of people want it so why not just add it? Also besides that, having more players in exchange of eFootball points is also a good addition. Because right now, if you go to players, you can see only three. And I'ma be honest, it's not really that huge. We need eFootball 26 to add more players in this exchangeable store and also make a lot of ways to get eFootball points. If eFootball does that, then hats off, it's the best football game, no cap. Skill diff, Alvarez, no gap whatsoever. Even this MF cannot compete with eFootball anymore. I mean, it still cannot compete with eFootball right now, but if eFootball adds all of this, then boom, it's GG's. Everyone switching to eFootball. Like, the thing is, Konami can do it. It's no problem, but they still won't. 
but maybe if this video goes viral they will add all of these features and to make this video go viral don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel also leave a comment on which features you want them to add hope you guys enjoyed the video i am vivus and i'll see you in the next one peace